Good morning. This is Brother Oscar again with another episode of Chatting from the Word on YouTube. We are uh, so delighted to be with you on this morning of 12 17 2018, Monday. Some consider the first day of the work week, and we're so glad to be with you on this morning to bring you another lesson from chatting uh, from the Word. Many to many on in this well, month consider this a season of giving. But if you let me tell it. Every day should be a time for giving. I don't know. It, it seems like it, at this time of year, it's always many that goes without and feeling kind of blue and down because they do not have what others have. And it seems like those I have is not giving as they should. And this kind of giving, to be honest with you, should be done seven days a week. Uh, seven days a week. Third day, 31 days out of a month. What, what your brother's trying to say, this, this giving should be done every day. And we should not have no one that's feeling down, blue, lonely. But we do. That's why many at this time either commit suicide, turn to drugs, turn to many other things that's out there that's not good for them. But at the same time, they feel like those things are the one that temporarily remove the uh, loneliness and uh, the depression that they are going through but but and this is a but I believe that the church should respond at times like these when uh, individuals are feeling lonely depressed and blue that's why I'm a, I'm a true believer that any churches that closes doors and uh, that that closes doors is a church that's not functioning as Christ says to be functioning because I believe and if y'all brothers who disagree with me let me know that the church should be reaching out to its community and to his city or to the state at large, try to help individuals, first of all, with a need. And next, with the gospel of Jesus Christ, to bring souls into the fold. And I believe that's the reason why we in the body of Christ are not uh, growing as we should, because we do not want to meet the needs of people. Isn't that what Jesus did? When he fed the multitude, Peter said, let them go. They can get food at home. But Jesus says, no, sit them down. We're going to feed them. That's when he fed them with two, lo uh, two fishes and five loaves of bread. I know you remember the event. Jesus was a type of, uh, 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 of Lord that truly believed in helping people. This is why he healed the the blind and 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 and, and gave uh, the, the lame and those who couldn't walk made them walk again because his concern also was not only saving them but helping them in a way that they needed help in a physical sense and I believe we in the church we forget that our concentration. Most time is getting to the church building and having a good time instead of recognizing is some um, sick people in the world that needs our help. 
You know, that's one reason I'm so glad I brought this program on, chatting from a word to talk with you. Talk with the body of Christ. Talk with individuals to be effective when it comes to God's word. And I just want to say that I just need to get that off my chest because... When you turn on your news and watch TV, you're hearing bad news, you're hearing people stealing and robbing. And basically, most of them that does that believe that they have a, a reason for doing it because they are poor and cannot afford the things that their family needs. Some, not all, <laughs> not saying all, don't get better, Oscar wrong. But the church needs to be the place that people can rely on and go to for help. We in the church should never turn down anybody. But don't we? We turn them down, don't we? We believe that, that people, we believe they're scheming on us or want to use the church. Yes, you may have people like that, but are you the judge? Help them anyway. Because I too believe Christ would have done the same. And that's all I want to say on that. We are chatting from the word. We, we, we are praying program around here. We, we believe in prayer. And as Paul says in 1st Thessalonians 5, 18, pray without ceasing. We should never stop praying. And I believe what Paul meant by that, always have a prayerful mind already to pray. For someone who needs help, always be ready to pray when you need to talk with the Lord. That, that's the way we uh, communicate with our Father is when we uh, have an active prayer life. Many do not pray at all. And I hope that this program are, is helping someone to put prayer back in their lives. But not only prayer, but God, studying God's word also is an effect, is a part of our relationship with the Father, with Jesus Christ, our Lord. So we hope and pray we here in chatting from the word are, are helping you to do that, to get a good and the right relationship with our Lord. Will you pray with me, please? Our Father, which art in heaven, Father, we thank you for waking us up this morning and allowing us to see another beautiful, beautiful day. Father, we thank you for the rain. We thank you for the cold. We thank you for the snow. We thank you for all, uh, all the bad weather and the good weather that comes our way. We thank you for the storms that got come in our lives, Father, the bad and the good that help us to grow and get close with you. Father, we come praying for our listeners. We pray for each one. Our listeners and those that are watching this show, we pray for each one to, to help them to get close with you and to walk close with you and to show others the way and be a light pointing towards heaven. Oh, Father, we come praying for our program, Chatting from the Word. Father, we pray that you help us to keep it on air. We pray, Father, that you help us to continue on continue to talk about your word and stick with your word help us with the lesson today back to the basics father help us to teach the basics and help others to learn the basics of their a christian life our christian journey our christian walk in jesus name we pray amen and amen well thank you all for praying with us this morning you know as i said Prayer is a uh, way that we uh, communicate uh, with our Father, uh, with our Lord. And I believe that we all need to have a active that prayer life. We that are in a good relationship with the Master. And I hope you all are. I hope you all are having a good relationship with the Master. It's not just about going to the church house on every first day of the week. Though we are commanded to do that from the Word of God. And we hope and pray that all did go yesterday uh, to uh, praise the Lord and to give back to Him and to partake of the Lord's Supper. This is what we are commanded 
in uh, uh, the Word of God. And we pray and hope that you've done that on yesterday and that you're ready to receive another message from the Lord on this morning because it is through the Word that we grow and that is the reason why we are here at Chatting from the Word of Hope to help you to grow in Jesus Christ, to help your walk a little, <laughs> pick up your step in Jesus Christ. And this is what we are hoping to do on this uh, program. And as I said, keep saying that this program is not just about me. This is about everybody that, who, that wants to, first of all, come to Christ. And secondly, those are in the body of Christ who, who is trying to truly live for him and know his word. This is why we brought this program on, chatting from the word. And, and to be frankly honest with you, and that's all I can be. The reason why, another reason why I brought this program on because lots of things that was going on in the body of Christ was eking brother York, brother Oscar to the core of his heart and still does. And this is why I'm bringing this program on hoping to teach others the message of Jesus Christ. This is why we want to go back to basics so that we can truly know what God's message is uh, for us today. This is why we are asking for sponsorship. I, I think that this program is worth to be sponsored uh, because the Word of God is too important to just not to know God in the way that He truly want to be known. I, I know you may be saying, Brother Oscar, there's many programs like one that you have on. And it may be, and as I keep saying, if you heard my podcast, and, and we hope that you tune in and listen to our podcast there too. Uh, we know as many programs like this, but in the world that, uh, uh, that, that, that doesn't really care about God, that doesn't really respect God. We need as many programs like this on the air, reaching the masses of people for Jesus Christ. So we we beg you, and don't have Brother Oscar to continue on begging you to support Chatting from the Word monthly. We don't ask for that much. Churches, if you can do it, if you have a nice crowd, we're only asking for 200, 300 or whatever uh, you can spare to, to help us here at, at Chatting from the Word to be coming on the, 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 the YouTube and the Blog Talk Radio. And if we have been some useful to you and your congregation, help us, help us. And we are, are guiding uh, people to your congregation. If, if people have been... If this program have really made a difference in your life and your walk in Jesus Christ, work with me here in helping the masses of the world to know Jesus Christ. To be honest with you, someone had to teach you before you obeyed the gospel, didn't they? I don't know how you became a uh, become in the body of Christ, but someone had to teach you. So give those people uh, individual who do not have the opportunity to learn Christ, to learn Christ on this program here. Please do this. Please sponsor us. Uh, uh, whatever amount you can send, it would be helpful individually if you want to sponsor us individually. That's fine. Whatever you can give, it will be appreciated by us here at Chatting from the Word. Give whatever your finances can bear. It would be very much appreciated. And again, subscribe to our YouTube station. 
when you subscribe to our YouTube station, they will notify you when we are broadcasting our program, and you can be the first to see to see what Brother Oscar is talking about, and listen to Brother Oscar and see what he is all about. <laughs> I'm laughing because you can see me live and in living color. So, uh, 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 subscribe. Subscribe. It's easy. Uh, uh, under the show is the subscription, it's, it's, it's subscribing in the red, touch on that, and they will take you to another site where they ask you for your email. So do that. There's no harm. We, it's no harm in subscribing. Do that. Do that. And then we, we want you to view our shows. View the show. Um, learn something or either... Uh, communicate with Brother Oscar if that's what you want to do. And you can communicate with me, first of all, through our show in the evening time on part, on my podcast at Blog Talk Radio. And that number is area code 657-383-0883. We're coming on in two today. If you want to be a part of that, call in. Listen to our show live so that you can participate in the things that we are discussing. And today I'm thinking about the going back to discussing um, Don't Worry, Be Happy. It, it's a good series and we are having so much fun uh, bringing that uh, lesson to you. So subscribe, first of all, to our station here on YouTube and follow us on Blog Talk Radio. Uh, chatting from the word. We would be very much appreciated of that. And if you want to contact Brother Oscar, I'm always on Facebook, inbox me. Or you can send a line of two to my email address, OscarYark3443 at gmail.com. Or you can uh, go to my uh, webpage, OscarYarkPublishing.com. And while you're there, this is our bookstore. Are your book? I've authored two books. A Peaceful Place in the Storm, God is in Control, 2150, and Bridges of Friendship, also 2150. And if you want to, if you want to purchase both books, it is $43. So do that. And when you, pur when you purchase one of, uh, or two of the books, you are also helping here at Chatting from the Word. You're helping us to, uh, guide souls to the light. You're helping us to help others who need to be helped in uh, the body of Christ. All right, I think we said enough. We said enough. We said, I think we got all that out the way that we wanted to say this morning. And, and like I said, we're so delighted that you're joining us on this day. I uh, know it, where, where you may be. You might be cold and brisk and woke up and snowing and ice and all that stuff but for a little while for the next couple of minutes go get your coffee go get your hot cocoa whatever warms you up and sit by the fire and listen and watch brother oscar on chatting from the word youtube do that do that um for you all who getting you know what i'm getting ready to say for you all who do have your Bibles, I appreciate it very much. But you all who do not have a copy of God's Word, we, we're going to give you time to go get your copy. This, <laughs> this is not like the podcast. We only have 30 minutes, but we might stretch it today because I'm going to change up on the format a little bit. But tune in to uh, Blog Talk Radio, chatting from the Word, so that you can see what I'm talking about, the change my format. So uh, and so we might go instead of 30 minutes, 45 minutes, so that we can have time for the, the, the change that I, I want to implement in our podcast. So listen up for the change, okay? So you all who do not have a copy of God's Word, go get a copy of God's Word so that we can study. Uh, back uh, uh, to the basics, okay? We're going to give you some time. 
And while they are going getting their Bibles, as always, I, I enjoy bringing God's Word to you. I enjoy studying with you from God's Word. I enjoy bringing this program to you on Mondays. Every Mondays, we are on YouTube to bring lessons to you to help you to grow in the grace and knowledge and admonition of the Lord for your maturity in the gospel of Jesus Christ. And we hope and we pray that we have done that on chatting from the Word. And if we have done that, do me a favor. Inbox me. Let me know. Several, several of you all have inboxed me and say that, that, that you appreciate the program and have asked for prayer. So continue on. Uh, Continue on lifting your brother up here, because I need to lift him up sometimes. We all need sometimes to be lifted up. And we're, as brothers and sisters of each other, and as members of the body of Christ, the family of God, we should be always in uh, the mood of lifting each other up. So let's continue on lifting each other. Not just only Brother Oscar, but other brothers that have shows like this, other brothers that are preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ without adding or are uh, adding or uh, subtracting from it. Support them, because that's important. That's important with so many that are adding to God's word, that, that are taking uh, souls out of out of heaven and put them right in, into hell, with, in hell pathway, because they are changing the gospel of Jesus Christ to suit what they want to teach. So when you have a brother that's truly teaching the gospel of Jesus Christ, let them know. Glad, brother, that you're sticking with the word. Glad, brother, that you're sticking with thus says the Lord as not changing what God says in his word. Those are the kind of brothers need to be lifted up. But sometimes we lift up the wrong brothers. We lift up these brothers that are changing the word, that are changing the church, that want to add things that God did not put in the worship, want to add things that God did not, uh, the, don't want to follow the example of the apostles that Jesus tells us to do. So, brothers that are sticking with the word, let them know that you appreciate them because we need brothers that's going to truly stick with God's word. All right, we hope that those who had to go get a copy of God, you see, I have mine. So <laughs> we're going to come from, uh, again, the Galatians book of Paul writing to the Galatians church. And we want to begin reading at, uh, of course, chapter 3. And let's begin our reading at verse 16 uh, through 19. Okay? Uh Paul says here, Now to Abraham and his seed were the promises made. He said not, and to his seed as of many, but as of one, and to thy seed which is Christ. And this I say, that the covenant that were confirmed before of God in Christ, the law, which was 430 years after, cannot this annul that it should make the promises of none effect. For if the inheritance of the law it is no more a promise, but God gave it to Abraham by promise, wherefore then serve the law. It was added because of transgressions till the seed should come to whom the promise was made, and it was ordained by angels in the hand of a mediator. Back to the basics, and basically I want to subtopic this. Why the law? Why the law? But let us know some, some, some key things here. The promise that was made to Abraham, and the promise was the fact that through his seed, the world would be saved. The world would have a chance to be connected back to God. And that's what the promise, the promise of salvation. And here what 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 uh, uh Paul is trying to confer here to us. He, he said now the law, the law that Moses received on Mount Sinai 
will not take away from the promise of Abraham. The promise that he made to Abraham that through his seed, the whole world would be blessed. And that's with salvation. See, nothing was not going to get in the way of Christ uh, coming to this earth, suffering on uh, the things he suffered, and dying on the cross, and resurrecting on the third day. You know, Satan tried to stop it when, when Satan tempted him in the wilderness. If Jesus would only have just bowed down and listened to Satan, don't you know salvation would not be a part of our uh, <laughs> memorandum today? Think about that. Satan tried to stop it. Now the devil tried to stop salvation. Because you know what? Satan don't want you to be saved. Satan is snatching Mimi out the body of Christ every day. That's something, my friend, to think about. Don't let Satan snatch you out the body of Christ with some of these brothers' teachings that are teaching that's not what's not in the Word of God. You make sure they're teaching what's in the Word of God and then confront them by what they teach. Most of us, we are afraid to confront our leaders when they're not teaching from God's Word. Don't you know that if we know God's word and we don't confront them, we just as guilty as they are when we know that they're teaching false teaching? We must be ready to always confront those that are teaching false teaching. Like I said, this is why I'm so glad I'm bringing this program. That's why we're going back to the basics to see what Christ's message is for us today. And here, Abraham. The prom, although Abraham, and we said this before, before the law, that was faith, okay? And Abraham moved out on faith, okay? So, the promise of faith, the promise of Jesus Christ, the law was not going to prevent, stop that from happening. Or the word Paul used here cannot disannul, and that's what it means. It's not going to take away or it's not going to stop what the law or Christ or the promises that God made to Abraham about his seed being Christ. Okay, that wasn't going to stop it. Because the law, we must recognize the reason why the law was added. Why was it added? We already have faith. Why was the law added? The law was added merely because men... When I mention men, I'm talking about female and male. Just did not know how to respect God. They just did not know how to uh, to do what's right in the sight of God. Sin was multiplied back then, like it is today, and sin was on an uproar, like it is today. Men just, and women just did not know how to live for God or how to communicate with God. So there had to be a way for men and women to live for God. So God, because of sin, and that's what transgressions are, sin is the reason for the law. Don't forget that, because some of us, we forget that, don't we? We forget why Moses received the law in the first place. He received the law because of transgressions. But before the law was there, it was faith. This is why we have today the law of liberty. And I know you all heard the law of liberty. The law of liberty just simply says we have a choice. We have a choice to accept Jesus or uh, not to accept Jesus. And you know, if we accept him, we have life everlasting if we continue to be in him. But if we do not accept him, of course, we have, uh, <laughs> we're not going to make it to heaven. So basically, if you want to truly make it to heaven, we got to accept Jesus Christ, don't we? And in the condition and the ways he wants us to accept him. We can't come to Christ the way we thinking. We can't come to Christ um, uh, what we want. We got to read God's word to see his message for us today. Okay? So, so the law was added 
because of the sins of the people. The people just did not know how to love God, love each other, have respect for all of God's creations and, and things that God brought to be. Man did not know how to do that. Even when, when, when remember when Moses brought the, the laws down and, and, and Moses seen that men was sinning men. Moses got upset, threw the laws down, broke the laws, and the earth opened up. And, 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 and oh, you, you know the story. <laughs> so uh, we're not going to go back and, and talk. Maybe one day we might get off into that. But the law was added. Because of transgression. Don't forget that. And in Jesus Christ, we have liberty. We have a choice, don't we? And again, we have freedom from this. Don't forget that. Jesus died so that we can have forgiveness. Uh, Jesus died so that grace might be brought down, just like our song said in the beginning of our program. God's grace and mercy. And that's the reason why Jesus died on the cross, because of God's grace and mercy for us. That is the reason why God came to the earth, because, I mean, Jesus came to the earth because of God's grace and mercy for us. Don't you know God planned Jesus to come down to save us right from the beginning? He knew the antidote that he would have to use to get man back connected back with him and that was through his son Jesus Christ. Everything that happened in the Old Testament happened for an example. We can look back at, at, at how Israel offered up the sacrifice of a lamb. That was Jesus Christ. That was representing of what Jesus had to do on the cross. Give his life. He was the innocent lamb that was given. Okay? We're going, to finish, we're going to talk again Monday on this subject. We hope that we have said something to to help you uh, walk, pick up your step in Jesus Christ. And we hope that we have helped someone to understand uh, the, the law, grace, mercy, transgressions, and all that today. We pray with him, please. Our Father, which art in heaven, I'll be thy name, for we thank you for this day. We thank you for this program. We pray, Father, that others have learned and listened and watched, Father. Uh, we pray that others have a good day. And we see everybody too. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen and amen. And it, as always, it was nice chatting with you today from chatting from the Word. We hope all have a wonderful day. Wonderful day. Bye-bye.